Hello, welcome to LEV Toys and thank you for joining me sticking around for yet another single colour building challenge. We have done, well, quite a few single colour challenges over the last few weeks, but I think that today's might actually break me. Today it is time to find out how much red is too much red. Ah, <laughs> and why do I go, ah, you may ask. Well, this is a reason why. In Lego, red predominantly belongs to superheroes like Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the fire trucks and the fire station-y things. And lots of car things, these ones from the Cars set, small fire stuff, this derpy looking dude, what am I gonna do with him? And the angry birds, yes, how, how am I gonna use them in an apartment? Warrior kitty. <laughs> so, are we seeing a theme here? These are the Nexo Knights things. These are mostly warrior or superhero, or, I don't know, there's not a lot of things that I could kind of use in an apartment building though. The texture on the back of his head is really interesting. But, 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 we do have some door frames in red and some window frames in, in red. Lots and lots of mailboxes, that's a bit of a challenge. And enormous flame and a dragon helmet. <laughs> oh no, how would I use this? Like, how would I use this in an apartment building? Right, so definitely gonna be a challenge today. Also, a sausage. Know what I can do with that? Do you have any idea? I'm pretty sure you do. Oh, and so there's lots of baking stuff and a plunger. So, oh, and you probably have already noticed that there's only one shade of red. That's it. So I'm going to match it with the vibrant coral because I think this has got more of a red hue than a pink hue. And with this, I always store this color with my browns, but it's actually a ready brown. And I think it's actually called dark red in Lego language. It's not the reddish brown. So we've got a few different shades. Oh, crusty eyes. I could use them. So we've got three different shades we're going to work with here. And oh, cool sword. No idea how I would use this. Right. So let's make a character to go in our apartment building. We've got not a lot of choices, but we do have some. So this is Andrea's aunt's hotel outfit. And this is, I think, Olivia's mum's skirt. So these are all red. So we could use these. There are some Christmas outfits, which would also be useful. This is very, very cute. <laughs> That's actually adorable. So you could have Santa. We could have like a, a girl version of Santa. Got a couple of different choices there for legs. Red actually turns up quite a bit in the DC superhero girls themes. This is super girls bottom half here. I think it looks really funky. We can put it with this riding jacket and this actually makes quite a smart little outfit but if we try it out with maybe the Christmas top because I have this plan to use the Gryffindor tie because it's red that I made out of polymer clay. Uh, maybe not the tie. Maybe we could use the scarf like the Gryffindor scarf because it's red and yellow to just kind of break up all that red. So we could do that, but I actually think I prefer this other top so much more. I think that looks really cute. Okay, so let's use that with our Gryffindor scarf because our girl is going to love Harry Potter and she's going to be in Gryffindor because the colours work. Hair? Mm, could, <laughs> could she? Should she be a construction worker and need a hard hat or need a hard hat for any particular purpose? No. Uh, she could have Oh, this is like, she could be out at a sporting event. She's got her cap on, she's got a scarf to keep warm. That looks really cute, but I haven't looked at all the red things yet. So we have to check them all out if I can get that off. What other red choices have we got for hair? There are a few actually. So we could be, she could be in the marching band. Without the scarf, that outfit would actually work really well for a marching band. I have to remember this for future, because that's not what we're going with for today. Uh, we could try Mia's new hair, her new bright red hair, and that looks lovely. That really looks lovely, but she looks just a bit too much like Mia, so... Oh, maybe she could be a firefighter. That looks really, really adorable. <laughs> I love that hair with the fire helmet. I love how the mo there's more hats coming with hair. I think that's really, really cool. She could... I just don't think Ariel's hair is going to work because it's just too distinctively Ariel's. So we'll use that one maybe as a backup. Here's one that I actually painted with nail polish. So this is Stephanie's hair piece. And Stephanie's hair piece actually looks, I think, so much better in any colour but blonde. So that one looks alright too. But we've got some really fun choices like Harley Quinn's 
pigtails, which don't match her Gryffindor scarf at all. So we can't go with that as much as I love those enormous curly pigtails. She could have little devil's ears or she couldn't really because let's take that off because it's ridiculous. Also, while we're being ridiculous, she could try the little boxer helmety thing to protect her face, but she's not doing that. We just I just had to try it for fun. Now we're being a bit serious. I love Poison Ivy's hair and I think I might have to remove the green on this front here but there's actually another version of Poison Ivy's hair which I just couldn't resist using having an opportunity to use this hair and I actually have erased the green leaves from out of her hair so it's now just red hair with a white rose in the side and there meet Scarlet our too much red character she is going to be living in our red apartment building and she is a Gryffindor supporter as well as being in Gryffindor so she's got a Gryffindor flag and because we've got red roller skates, <laughs> she's going to be extra quirky and she's going to be rolling around on red roller skates all the time. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to make this build cohesive and functional and oh, she keeps falling over. So it's not a good start. Right. So Scarlet is ready. Scarlet is going to skate over here out of the way and we're going to remove the rest of the apartment buildings. And here comes the first hard part. I have no big red base plate. I've just got lots of little ones. So because I want this to be a floor on the apartment, I'm going to have to secure these together pretty securely. And I don't know how successful I'm going to be at that. So the fact I don't have a base plate stumps me to start with, but we're going to use the vibrant coral to actually line uh, like to be our bottom layer of the wall just to break up all, all this red because there's only really the one shade of red and then we're going to be using this coral and that reddish brown dark red thing so we're going to hold this piece together we're going to hold these together with some of these flat tiles here which will turn out to be mats as we go along right luckily i have got an enormous piece of wall <laughs> which has a gryffindor flag or a big gryffindor wall hanging on it and this is going to sit behind her bed going to put a window frame over here and on top Oh, we shouldn't lose an opportunity to create a shelf because shelves are good for putting lots of knickknacks on and knickknacks are interesting. So we're going to use a little vibrant coral display area up here. And what are we going to display? I've got some of these, but I could use this hairpiece and actually make it into some sort of, oh, it doesn't fit on that. So I need to get a little flower piece so that I can put this mohawk piece on here. It's going to be a weird plant. No, I'm going with being a weird plant and on here she can actually store her roller skates. So this is the spot for her roller skates to hang out when <laughs> she's not actually falling over on them. And movie buff, she's got an enormous poster of the Lion King or the Lion Fig in this particular instance. What else can we have? We can put lots of these. I don't have any red drawers or doors, so we can use this as shelving over here. It's currently hanging off the back. <laughs> though. Uh, so we're going to need to support this up with just a few extra bricks here. Normally I just put stuff in and then if I like it I'll backfill any spaces that are missing <laughs> when I'm making this stuff up. Can I fit this flag in here? I cannot. Let's put the flag out of the way for now and over here maybe these were actually the walls of of a fire truck I think. The walls, no, the windows of a fire truck. So they're going to add a bit of light over on this side. Nice big red pillar and we've got a nice little corner here. So what furniture are we gonna put in here? We're going to use a couple of these mailboxes without the fronts on them. So they can be the side tables for her bed and they're not gonna go directly on the base plate as they currently are. So we need to raise them up just a little bit and going to use the dark red on the top. And this is going to be her alarm clock cause it's red. <laughs> it's so cute. So we'll put it on a coral piece and maybe we'll put a translucent red square on the top just to finish it off. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> That's just adorable. So one bedside table. On the other bedside table, she is going to be a Minnie Mouse fan and she's got some Minnie Mouse ears over here. Though it's ironic because she doesn't actually have a hole in that hairpiece. And she's got red lipstick, bright red lipstick. Whew, okay, few red things happening here. So we're doing okay. Making it a bit more interesting than just lots of plain red and Go there. Okay, so this space in the middle will be the bed and we're gonna have to hold all those plates together with the bed. So let's be creative with the bed. I want to use this car piece. I reckon I can make a really cute little bed, like a little single size bed out of this. So we've got a 
vibrant coral pillow and more Minnie Mouse themed red here with the white dots on it and we could put some column pieces or these little circle pieces up the side of the bed and I reckon we can use these loud hailers these megaphones to go towards the end of the bed maybe will that work I don't know if that's gonna actually work when we try and stick it down onto the base plate but I'm going to use another another piece here to actually hold all those other base plates together so this is gonna stick some more of this down nicely that looks really cute so we can actually uh, we can round off the end with another one of these coral <laughs> coral pillow pieces and then we can use some coral hearts <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous now <laughs> this is very extravagant looking bed Oh, that's a little bit too cutesy. <laughs> Let's fill up the space underneath. It's not going to stop me. I'm totally going to keep making this cute because it's just adorable. Look at that. I wish we had more coral pieces, more vibrant coral pieces, uh, but there's, there aren't a lot of different shaped bricks in coral yet. So I'm only going to use it as accents at the moment, which is a shame, but we make do with what we have got. Okay, she has got, Scarlet has got the cutest little mini mouse bed. She's got heart alarm clock. She's ready over here I want to use this mini mouse skirt for something like like a tablecloth a table dressing or a little side table somehow I don't know how successful I'm gonna be but if I use these as kind of like legs the table legs there's enough sitting up the top maybe to be able to hold another brick not very securely this is not proper Lego building technique but I reckon we can jimmy something with this so we, I want to make this a little a little telephone side table with a cute little Minnie Mouse skirt like a tablecloth skirt <laughs> that's adorable and that just holds on like just so I could put it it's precariously balancing off the top too but sh okay or off the back it's it's okay it's so cute and now we've left this space over here so maybe we could oh what about if she's a cosplayer like Scarlet is a cosplayer she loves so many different things and she loves to dress up as kitty so she needs her kitty ears which are coincidentally in vibrant coral look see that goes with the rest of her outfit not at all but <laughs> it doesn't matter really doesn't matter at all so she needs somewhere to store this hair please hair please this hair piece so we're going to make a display and luckily we've got sticks in red which is nice got a lot of choices a lot of a lot of different brick shapes choices in red which is good and we'll put this on here and that will go very nicely in the space that we left ah there we go there's her little her little kitty ears <laughs> well this is looking ridiculous but very very cute okay we've got the space over here oh you know what how can I work in this red light brick I've got to be able to make something to use can I make a fireplace so I could make a fireplace over here she could have a little lounge area and we could try and light up the fire but there's a problem because this is the flame in Lego it's orange <laughs> normal size flame what about this flame <laughs> it's taller than a mini doll but it's red down the bottom so I'm totally using this so we can make a fireplace for this enormous big piece of flame <laughs> okay this has gone from absurd to ridiculous but I don't care it's fun let's put this right in front of our light brick I don't know how well this is gonna light up it's really hard to see with all the lights on currently on my building table but I'll turn the lights off later once we built it and we'll have a look and see what it actually looks like this is enormous fire in the, in the corner of her apartment we'll use the dark red bricks the masonry brick pieces to actually build up the fireplace we can put some grill pieces because we've got red grill pieces on the front now I need some tall pillar pieces to get to the top of this flame and actually contain it and that just fits in under the little arch Oh, Lego I love how Lego all just fits <laughs> it fits the space okay so we have made the tallest fireplace with the biggest flame in it known to mankind <laughs> this is not the sort of fireplace you want in your apartment building <laughs> this is crazy okay um, maybe we could line the back of this with some vibrant coral bricks and I don't know whether we're going to be able to see this light up at all because there's so much red like it's a red light it's going through a red flame it's got ready pink behind it uh, 
I don't know that you're actually going to be able to see it. Oh, maybe it's actually an art installation, something just a little bit ironic in that it's an enormous flame, but you don't actually see the flame, the light very much because it's so big and it's also red. I don't know, maybe that's just a little bit esoteric. I don't know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look at that. You can see that it's lighting up, but you can't really see that it's a flame in the front. So yeah, maybe it's a piece of art in the corner of her apartment. I don't think Scarlet beats to the same drum as the rest of the world. And why should she have to? She is funky and cool and she can like all the things that she likes, like Minnie Mouse and Gryffindor and Harry Potter and the Lion King and cosplaying. She can like everything. Now, I've got some really cool pillar ideas to go on either side of this actual fireplace. This is going to, well, our fireplace art installation. <laughs> Because <laughs> why would you want a piece of fire that big? It's too dangerous. It's dangerous. But now it's an art installation. I'm excited by that idea. <laughs> we can hold it all together now with those little curved pieces on the fire that's not really a fire. Okay, Scarlet, over here in the corner of your apartment, we're going to build up the walls with whatever red we have left. And if I, if I move this over by one, I can put... Oh, a brick with an inward facing stud on it and I can put a sausage where's my sausage gun I can put a sausage in here and I can make a wall lamp because <laughs> that the light from her art installation fire is not going to create enough reading light so here's her red reading light she's going to need a chair now so I really like this translucent red ring so I want to make a chair out of it. it's gonna fit in this space very nicely Let's see what we can do with this. We've got these quarter pieces of the vibrant coral. That's so hard to say, vibrant coral. And we've actually got smoothed over pieces that we can put on the top now too, which is excellent. So now she's got a little round lounge chair that actually looks very, very comfortable. And she fits in it even with all of that hair down the back. <laughs> That's just adorable. So this will go in the corner in front of her fake fire underneath her sausage lamp. That's so cute. <laughs> and to make it fit wherever I want it to go, if I just put a couple little studs under there, then I can kind of wriggle it around and figure out, I spend so much time trying to figure out where I want to just move it like over half a stud is in that space between or on this stud, like one stud forward, one stud back, just to see whether it fits perfectly in that space. And that's so cute. <laughs> that's really, really adorable. I'm in love with that chair. Okay, I'm not finished yet though because I want to do a little bit of cheating. I'm going to use this transparent piece, but bear with me because I'm going to fill it with flat red studs and that's going to make it red. This is, it's going to be red now. This, the translucent piece is just our vehicle for holding the red studs in place. And this is going to make a really, really cool piece of wall, like a funky piece of wall. Oh, or it, it's going to be another art installation, which actually is also a support for her house. <laughs> so we'll make a matching one so we can have them on either side at the front. <laughs> I love dropping these studs in. It's very calming and therapeutic. It's like playing Connect Four, but with nobody else. So I'm always going to win. Ha <laughs> Connected Six. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Let's uh, let's decide where we're going to put. Actually, I've already decided. They're going to be at the front of the house, on either side here, because it's going to help support the floors above. We're going to need to lift them up a bit though, so we'll use our dark red masonry piece and another little vibrant coral piece that's lifted up to the same height as the rest of the walls. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I think they look so pretty on the front and weird and different. I love different. All right, there's a bit of a spot here. I wanna make a side table. I <laughs> just need to move her chair back just a little bit but not too far. So I want to put, because we've got, oh, I can't quite find where I want this to go so that it fits in, so I can fit everything in here, cram everything into this tiny space. So if I put this here, I can use the mushroom top piece with the little white Minnie Mouse dots on it and she can put a red mug on it. So she can sit here and drink from her <laughs> cute little spotty side table. Is that too much? Does it actually just look like a toadstool? I don't care. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, time to line along the top so we can see how this is going to fit with the rest of the apartments, whether it's going to all fall off. But I just had a thought. If I use these, I can actually use some translucent red pieces overhanging here so they can light up 
her feature pieces. Except now my cool, weird looking mohawk plant doesn't fit. So maybe I can use this and this could be a storage spot for her scarf when she takes her scarf off. Oh, I should have done that initially. There we go, look. So now we've got some little feature lights over her flag. Let's do the same thing or over her wall hanging. Let's do the same thing over the Lion King and then we'll line up the rest. We've got enough little studs here to connect to the next floor. And I just wanted to put her little lobster stuffed toy in because it's red. And those shelves behind her bed are looking pretty empty. So this little flowery thing is just gonna float in these shelves and probably fall out as soon as I pick it up. So let's give this a whirl. Is today gonna be the day <laughs> when the whole apartment building comes toppling down due to lack of internal structure? Let's find out, shall we? Now, where are we going to actually put this? I feel as though it should go between purple and blue, but I think that's too blocky a color. So maybe between, I think it'll look all right between blue and yellow. And I know, I know that you guys are getting cross with me for not actually following the, the order of a rainbow, but <laughs> I've, it's just not going to fit on size wise. I've made this one exactly the same size as the blue floor so that they can fit directly either on one on top of the other. So this is all going on very nicely. Let's see if when I try and put three floors on top, whether it's going to hold. It's not so secure because I don't have like a solid base plate for this whole floor here and I might have to take those off and I'll try and just connect in a little bit better. Don't want to push down and have everything collapse. Oh, there we go. All right. So now I think we're connected. That looks pretty good. Now we just need to put back in all the things that fell out, all the things that weren't legoed down like the scarf and Scarlet and the bananas up here in the yellow section. Right. Looking good. Now we can put the next floors back on. Hold our breath. Make sure everything connects up well and nothing collapses. Check it out. Our apartment building is getting ridiculously tall. We've added red. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, red did my head in. I like that because that rhymes, but I think it looks ridiculous. But I think it looks so much fun. I had so much fun making this, putting the red light brick in. The question is though, what color? What color are we going to add to this next? I don't know that our apartment build building can go much higher. It could all end in tears. And do we really have another too much? challenge in us are you gonna watch another too much single color challenge let me know in the comments and if you want another one i will give it a go <laughs> so make sure you subscribe make sure you leave that comment let me know what's going on inside your head and i need to go and move this rainbow apartment now so wish me luck hopefully we don't hear any crashing noises